Josh from Painting by Josh here. I'm just going to give you a bit of a rundown on when you're using a tip, you know, you can eliminate tip size just by the way you hold um, your gun. So I'll just give you a bit of a rundown anyway. So I've got the FFLP 210 tip at the moment, so that's going to give us about a four inch fan. Uh, so I just want to spray it on, okay? I'll just show you this. You know, when you're, when you're working with something like this, or even a spray in a frame, and you, you only need like a, a two inch fan, I'll show you how to get it with uh, the one tip and the one gun. So if I'm going through now, this is the two, so this is going to give me the four inch fan. So that's nearly one board there. As you can see, we're just pretty much right on one board there. Alright, so if I just wanted to obviously get, you know, half of that. So I'll just go half a board, okay? Instead of holding it straight on, just hold it, you know, obviously at this angle, you're going to get, you know, the full, full width pattern which will be four inches coming out of the 210. So if we want it, you know, to eliminate to about a, you know, two and a half inch fan or something like that, just have to move a bit quicker. But what we'll do, we'll hold it on an angle about this. Instead of like this, hold it on an angle about sideways here and move a bit quicker. As you can see. So there you go. There's your difference. You've probably got about, what, four inch fan. Then you've got about a two inch fan, probably two and a half, three inch fan. Okay, so that's your difference. And then even if you want to go onto this bottom section here, okay, I'll do this one here, on this one here. So there, you are looking at about two inches there. This is just that uh, beveled edge between the boards, right? And this, you have to move a lot quicker, obviously, because you're, you're putting a lot more um, paint on uh, at, a, at a, um, a thinner, at a thinner width, so we want to make sure it's 100%. But we're going to have to move a lot quicker than what we would if we were spraying straight on, or even on a slight angle like this. We're still going to have to uh, move a lot quicker. So we'll do the bottom one now, okay? Just in this little beveled edge, and I'll show you what how to get a two-inch fan um, with a four-inch sides. There you go. As you can see the difference. So we're going from, say, uh, four and a half inch to about a two and a half inch to about um, a one inch. There, to two inches. So depending on what size, um, depending on which way you hold your, your gun, it's gonna give you uh, a different size spray pattern. So it really helps when trying to do frames and everything like that. Um, you know, and you've and you got and you got your gun on a bit of a side, just move it quickly, and then that way it will give you exactly what you're after. As you can see there, there's the different sizes. So you've got the, you know, this is about a four, four and a half inch, um, you know, then probably your three inch, and then, you know two inch there. Like I said, there's your difference, so yeah. really windy. Well that's, you know, straight out of the gun, then bit on an angle, and then straight on an angle. So there are your different, different um, whips in your paint coming out of your gun. We're using the same, same tip, which is the FFLP210, and we run the Graco FTX gun. Hope this comes in useful for uh, yeah, painters, DIYs, anyone out there that wants to give a go with a gun. There we go. Thank you for always tuning in. Hope you found this useful and much love.